We're hearing that the hurricane has now strengthened into a Category 5 storm with sustained winds of 165 miles per hour. The latest information indicates that the storm will make landfall tonight at Galveston. The storm surge is predicted to be in excess of 30 feet. We have the latest image from the National Weather Service. You can see here the storm is covering most of the Gulf of Mexico and is bearing down on the Houston-Galveston area. Residents are advised to leave as soon as possible to avoid the wind and flooding associated with this monster storm. Mom, are we gonna be okay? We'll get through this, guys. We'll get through this, all right? Who was that? I don't know what it was. I don't know. This is a weather guide news break. Authorities say this was the most destructive storm to ever hit Texas. The president has declared a state of national emergency and has mobilized the National Guard. We have reports of massive flooding and hundreds of deaths along the upper coast. The upper Texas coast has a long history of direct hits by major hurricanes. On September 8, 1900, a Category 4 storm raged through Galveston, killing an estimated 8,000 people. The Great Hurricane remains the deadliest hurricane disaster in U.S. history. In 1961, Hurricane Carla reached Category 5 status before pummeling the Texas coast with unbridled ferocity. Hurricane Alicia became the first billion-dollar storm in 1983 as it roared up I-45, destroying homes and blowing out windows in the towering skyscrapers of downtown Houston. In September 2005, Hurricane Rita ravaged the upper Texas coast, forcing 3.7 million panicked residents to flee their homes. 118 people died during the evacuation. In 2008, Hurricane Ike rocked Texas with a near direct hit on Galveston, sending a 10 to 15 foot storm surge onto the island and the western end of Galveston Bay. For those of us living on the upper Texas coast, we see a major hurricane on average about once every 15 years. The problem is in the lull between these uh, big storms, we tend to forget how devastating they can be. We tend to think, well, we made it through the last one, why should I worry about the next one? One in four Texas residents lives along the Gulf Coast, yet most people do not realize the risks associated with living in the coastal region. The biggest killer in a hurricane is the surge. Probably three quarters of the total damages in a hurricane is due to storm surge. The Tri-County area of Galveston, Harris, and Chambers counties is one of the most flood-prone regions of the United States. The Houston Ship Channel in the Port of Houston is home to the largest petrochemical complex in the United States, with nearly $500 billion in economic activity. This region is responsible for 25 to 35 percent of the petrochemicals and the fuels that are used and consumed in the entire United States. A 27-foot storm surge that reached the upper reaches of the Houston Ship Channel would truly be devastating. So what can be done to prevent such devastation and help prepare for and mitigate the flooding caused by storm surge in the Tri-County area? A group of scientists and researchers at Texas A&M University Galveston has developed a multi-pronged approach that will dramatically reduce the impact of major storms on the upper Texas Gulf Coast. One component is a coastal barrier, or spine, called the Ike Dike, that when completed, would protect the Houston-Galveston area. The idea is very simple. You stop the surge at the coast. You don't let it get in the inland waters. Well, the coastal spine is an extension of the seawall built in the early 1900s. It will extend along the coast with a hard structure but covered with sand and seagrass, so you won't even know that there's a coastal barrier there. 
You'll also have gates along the Bolivar Roads area, which is the navigation channel. That'll help keep surge water out of the bay during times of hurricanes. This coastal barrier is based on technology implemented in the Netherlands to prevent repeated devastating storm surge from the North Sea. They have big gates that protect them. They have barriers that protect them. They put it together. They have a coastal spine, just like we want here. They close those gates and use that barrier 26 times, and it's worked every time. When completed, the Ike Dyke and Coastal Spine will protect the upper Texas coast from the catastrophic destruction of hurricane storm surge. Another major component developed at Texas A&M University is a remarkable tool available to anyone with an internet connection. In 1993, the Texas Legislature created the Center for Texas Beaches and Shores to address beach erosion and wetlands loss throughout the state. Dr. Sam Brody is the director of the center. One of our major initiatives is the development and creation of the Texas Coastal Atlas. This is a web-based interactive system that helps homeowners, residents, and other coastal stakeholders understand the impacts of storm surge and flooding on property along the coast. Dr. Brody's team wrote a software package that models the effects of different storm-related factors along the unprotected coastal regions. By clicking on a menu, users can select from more than 150 different filters or layers, ranging from flood damage to elevation to estimated losses within a region, a neighborhood, or an individual home or property. Because the Atlas accumulates data from multiple sources, Homeowners, businesses, and developers can toggle specific layers on and off within the Atlas to view relevant information about a specific location or area of interest. But the main purpose of the Atlas is to study what the impacts of storm surge might be in the, in the Tri-County region. Uh, a user can zoom in on a specific area, take it on down further to a plot of land. On that individual plot, they can look at the actual structure that's on the plot. Coastal residents can enter the address of their home, select different layers, and instantly see what would happen to their homes during each scenario. Families interested in the purchase of a new or existing home can learn about the location of a house or property and the quantifiable damage it may face. Business owners or developers can research the threat to a current or potential new location and understand the consequences of developing a specific parcel before a shovel ever hits the ground. The Atlas also incorporates a vertical slider bar that can be moved across the screen. By manipulating the slider function, residents and business owners can see the drastic reduction in flood damage if the Ike Dyke and Coastal Spine were in place. We can mitigate storm surge. We can't do anything about the, the wind and the rainfall, but we can certainly mitigate storm surge. The Ike Dyke is designed to do that. Once the Ike Dyke is built, we'll protect people, property, and the economy along the Texas coastline. It can protect not just the regional economy and not just the national economy, but the world economy. Hurricanes can be devastating to communities and life-changing events for individuals. We need our citizens to contact their congressmen and their senators and say, uh, we need you to protect our, our communities. We need you to protect our lives. We need you to protect our jobs and the economy. We need you to build the Ike Dyke. For more information about the Coastal Atlas and the Ike Dyke, visit the Center for Texas Beaches and Shores website. Enter the address of your home or business to learn about the impact of storm surge and flooding in your area. Thank you.